G'day folks, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about the spirit of Jezebel. And I want to show you that biblically speaking, there is no such thing as the spirit of Jezebel. Now, I have to be honest with you, when I began this video, I was approaching it more from the perspective that I was going to look at the characteristics of Jezebel and, and the characteristics of a potential spirit of Jezebel. But as I looked at the text, I realized pretty quickly that there's no such thing, biblically speaking, as the spirit of Jezebel. And so whenever you see people casting out the demon, the spirit of Jezebel, it's all total nonsense and it's completely fake. Now, first of all, who was Jezebel. Jezebel was the daughter of Ethbaal, which means with Baal, the king of the Sidonians, and uh, Ahab, the king of Israel, the, the ten northern tribes of Israel, he married her, and he brought her, uh, obviously, into the land of Israel, and she uh, promoted and pushed the worship of Baal. Now, the people of Israel, the 10 northern tribes, were already worshipping the two golden calves, uh, one in Bethel and one in Dan. And uh, that was something that uh, Jeroboam, King Jeroboam, set up. And the Bible says that uh, King Ahab considered that to be a light thing. And he went and married Jezebel, the daughter of uh, Ethbaal, the king of the Sidonians. And she promoted all sorts of idolatry in the land and the worship of Baal. And she was a very wicked woman. She uh, was ruthless. Uh, she had people killed. She was a false accuser. Uh, she uh, persecuted God's people, the prophets, especially Elijah. Now, the story of uh, Jezebel uh, is only in really the books of First and Second Kings. There's no mention of her outside of that except for one Bible passage in the book of Revelation. And this is the passage that people use to try to say that there is a spirit of Jezebel. It's in Revelation chapter 2, beginning at verse 20. Let's read this together. It says this, But I have a few things against you. You permit that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants, to commit sexual immorality, and to eat food sacrificed to idols. This is the text that people use to try to argue that there is a spirit of Jezebel. This is the only verse that they appeal to. And then what they do is they uh, assign uh, all of the characteristics that they see uh, in Jezebel in the Old Testament and say that the spirit of Jezebel exhibits all of these different characteristics. And if there's someone in your church that is overtly exhibiting these characteristics, uh, then they may have the spirit of Jezebel. And then they proceed to try to cast the spirit of Jezebel out of that Person. And they also kind of assign that like an omnipresence to this spirit so that this spirit, the spirit of Jezebel, is operating in multiple churches all over the world all at the same time. But this verse really says nothing uh, about any of that. There's, they take this passage and, and create this huge doctrine about the spirit of Jezebel when this passage really says none of those things. When you look at this passage, it does not say that this woman has a spirit called the spirit of Jezebel. But yet they look and they say, well, she's called Jezebel. And they say she's exhibiting characteristics of Jezebel and Jezebel's dead. She's seducing God's people into idolatry, just like Jezebel did. And Jezebel's dead. So therefore, she must have the spirit of Jezebel. However, as I was reading this passage and the Holy Spirit was illuminating the text to me, it became very clear that all this passage is saying is that she was like Jezebel. She's called a Jezebel because she was acting like Jezebel and doing the things that Jezebel did. And then I found out that there are Bible scholars and commentators throughout history that have agreed with me. Matthew Henry said, wicked seducers were compared to Jezebel and called by her name. Jezebel was a persecutor of the prophets of the Lord and a great patroness of idolaters and false prophets. John Wesley said this, 
Many of the ancients, referring to the church fathers, have delivered that this was the wife of the pastor himself. Jezebel of old led the people of God to open idolatry. This Jezebel, fitly called by her name from the resemblance between their works, led them to partake in the idolatry of the heathens. The younger Bible dictionary says this about Jezebel. Long afterward, her name lived as the byword for all that was detestable. In Revelation 2.20, she is used as a type of those who encourage immorality and false teaching in the same way that she engulfed Israel in idolatry. Dr. John Wolverd says this, Jezebel's name became synonymous with subtle corruption, immorality, and idolatry. The Cultural Background Study Bible says, Jezebel, a nickname for a false prophetess invoking the biblical Jezebel's sin of turning Israel away from God. Even the well-known Pentecostal Study Bible, the Fire Bible, says this, John calls one particular person Jezebel, derived from the Old Testament Jezebel, whose name is a synonym for false worship, sensuality, and manipulative control. So I think it's very clear when we just look at the passage and just let the Word of God speak instead of adding things to it, there's nothing in this passage that says there is such a thing as the Spirit of Jezebel. And if we look at this text, knowing that the book of Revelation is symbolic, we can simply say that the book of Revelation referred to this woman, or perhaps a group of people, as being Jezebel simply because they were acting like that wicked woman Jezebel in the Old Testament. Now, just because I don't believe and I don't think the Bible teaches that there is a spirit called the spirit of Jezebel, that doesn't mean we can't use the term Jezebel to refer to specific people that are in the church world. And I would say that if somebody is encouraging idolatry in the church, then they are just like Jezebel. And we can call them a Jezebel without believing that there is such a thing as the spirit of Jezebel. Now, you might say, well, we don't really see uh, people worshipping idols in the church world. However, the Bible does say that greed is idolatry. And there's certainly a lot of people in the church world, people like Robert Morris and Michael Todd and Kenneth Copeland, uh, Todd White, all these people, they are preaching greed. And so therefore, we can say that they are a Jezebel. Let me show you the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 5, and it says this, For this you know, that no sexually immoral or impure person or one who is greedy, who is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. If we go to the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 5, it says this, Therefore put to death the parts of your earthly nature, sexual immorality, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil desire, and covetousness, which is greed, which is idolatry. So when pastors and teachers in the church world preach the prosperity gospel, and try to seduce people into greediness. They are really trying to seduce people into idolatry. And we can call them a Jezebel because they are acting like Jezebel. Not because they are possessed by the spirit of Jezebel, but because they are acting just as Jezebel acted in the Old Testament. The book of Revelation goes on to say that uh, Christ was going to cast her onto a bed of sickness. She's going to go from being on a bed of sexual immorality to a bed of sickness, and her children would be in the bed of sickness with her. And the Bible goes on in the book of Revelation to say that they would be killed by Christ. And one day, Jesus is going to come back. And Jesus is going to judge all of these false teachers seducing God's people into greed and idolatry. And he's going to judge them. But he's also going to judge those that followed them. The Bible says, my sheep hear my voice and a stranger they will not follow. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell notification button. I'll see you in the comment section and you'll see me in my next video.